Okay, I'm going to show you how to isolate the little red square buildings. So I'm also at the same time going to show you how to clip a portion of a map using a new polygon. So let's start with that part. First we go to the art catalog window. We find somewhere that is convenient to work, like I guess I'll work in documents. No, I don't want documents, ArcGIS. I'll work in regular documents. And I'll put, I'll right click on documents. I'll go to new, create a new shape file. And this is going to be a polygon. And let's give it a name like cookie cutter. Okay. And you could make your coordinate system match the coordinate system of the topographic map but I'm going to just leave it blank for now. And then Cookie Cutter shows up in my table of contents. I'm going to close the catalog window. And I'm going to edit Cookie Cutter. Okay. I'm going to go to Create New Feature. I want to create it in cookie cutter, so I need to click on that. I'm going to draw a polygon, because as you remember in the uh, topographic maps you had, they were leaning. They were a little bit like a parallelogram. They weren't a perfect rectangle. So we're going to use polygon. And then I get this little cross, which allows me to draw vertices. So I'm just going to draw sort of a rectangle here. I'll make it a little bit like a parallelogram to kind of mimic the work that we were doing. Like that, maybe. Perfectly good. Okay, I need to end the sketch. So to end the sketch, I'm going to right-click, finish sketch, and then I will stop editing, save my edits, and now you will see that this layer cookie cutter has one polygon in it. It's the polygon I drew. It's the cookie cutter polygon. I'm going to use that cookie cutter to cut a piece out of this topographic map. This would be analogous to the work you wanted to do where you wanted to cut the topographic map out of its map to build your mosaic. So I will go to data management raster, raster processing, clip. In clip, my input raster is the topographic map. My output extent is going to be that cookie cutter and it's very important that I click this box that says use input features for clipping geometry. I'm just going to let it call it what it wants and save it where it wants. Okay, and if I turn this off, and I turn this off, you will see that I clipped a piece of the map of the appropriate size and shape. And the reason I did that in this context was I wanted a smaller thing to work with. Okay, now we're going to try to separate out these little red squares from the black squares, the green background, the little red lines. So I'm going to give this a better name. Eh. I'm going to save it somewhere. Let's export it and give it a good name. Let's put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it TopoClip. And no, I'm not going to add it to the map as a layer. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. And I'm only going to add its bands. So let's find it. It's on my desktop. I called it TopoClip. And I'm going to add what I assume will be its red band. 
Do I think that's right? Let's see, do these, these were the red squares, do they have a high value? I'm using the identify tool and I'm clicking on them. 144. What has a higher value? That has a higher value. That has a low value. Let's see, let's see what the other layers are. We'll add them each individually. Here's band two. And these have, let's see, a very low value here, a higher value here. Okay. And here's band three. And these are again fairly high here, even higher here, even higher here. This must be the green band. Let's add the whole thing back again. How can I possibly get it back? Yeah. Let's add the whole thing. Okay. So looking at this, this one is very likely green. Maybe not. But this one is green. Let's see. This has a high value here. So this must be the green layer. green and let's put on the original mm, which one do I think is the red layer They're pretty hard to tell apart I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say that band one is probably the red layer Let's identify from all the layers. And let's look at one of these little red houses. So it is highest in red. And then let's look over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I don't know why that red is so high. There. That's got high everything. That's got low everything. Well, let's just try it. Let's do red minus green. So, let's go close this. We'll go find map algebra under spatial analyst, map algebra, raster calculator, and we are going to subtract red minus green. Let me just see what happens. Okay, what this did was it turned white both the little red houses and the little red lines. Let's make that a little more extreme now. So that worked. That's what we want. White are high values. These have like a value of 70. Let's, let's identify some of them. Let's see. So this has a value. I don't want to do that now from Master. 52, 57, 56, 4, negative 14. Okay, so the, the high numbers, 38, 59, 51, okay. We probably could do 50 and up. So let's reclassify it to get 50 and up. Reclassify. Input raster is our raster calculator layer. We're going to reclassify a value, and all of these are going to become zero. Zero, 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 zero. All the way down. And then here, let's give them actual values. One will be the top category, 41 to 70. All right, that's looking pretty good already. But we want to get rid of, like, this little scrappy stuff here this stuff. And we want to keep
the bigger squares. There's a big square over there. I okay, want to keep these guys and get rid of this little scrappy stuff. Okay. So for this we're going to use neighborhood statistics. We're going to do focal statistics, I believe. We will use the reclassified raster. Let's do... Do I think the 3x3 three three will do it? Yeah. Let's do 4x4. Four 4x4 four. Four four neighborhood. And instead of the mean, we're going to take the minimum. Pretty good. Let's make this invisible. And did we, does, oh, this probably green is not a good color. Let's try, um, let's try black. Okay, did we get a, bol a little bit of black on every house? Yeah, we did. Let's see, did we get every single one? Where's the original? We got most of them. Where's the original? Oh, you can't see it if it's black. Let's change it to like toxic green. Okay, did we turn a little bit of green on all the red houses? Right there we did, right there we did. This is pretty good. Did we miss a few? Yeah, we did. All right, let's try it again then using the th neighborhood three. Remove that. Remove the same tool again. Input raster was a reclass. Neighborhood three. We're gonna do minimum. Okay. Turn that off. Get the color there. Let's see, did we get a little bit of green on every red house? Yes. It looks like with a three neighborhood size, every formerly red house has corresponding green in the focal layer, and none of the roads do, or none of the um, topographic lines. So the last thing we can do, if we want to make this look nice, is convert it, conversion to raster, no, from raster, from raster to points. points yeah. Let's try that. And we will uh, take that final layer and let's try and make it into a layer of points. See if that comes out nice. I'm glad you're patient. You me? No, my, my listener. Oh, <laughs> this doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. I must not have used the right layer. Oh, I know why. Here we go. First, we have to reclassify this and make everything else no data. So, spatial analyst. Reclass. Reclassify. That focal layer. So, the ones we want, but the zeros, we're going to change to no data. Okay. And then let me convert that. Raster to point. I'm losing track of what these things are called here. Alright. 
Now then, we can turn off all this little intermediate stuff. And we can make these points look any way we want. We can make them into squares. We can turn them bright red if you want. Oh, that's a little big. Uh, let's make them like 12 point squares. Hey, that's not too bad. Does that look right? Yep, we did it. Thank you for listening.